Hi, I'm Emilio Franchi, Senior Product Manager for our Enrizzo Company, and today we're going to be talking about making PTC access radio sensitivity measurements. And this is our setup for this. We are going to be using a, in this case, a PTC access radio that's connected to a splitter that has it's connected to both the transmit and receive ports of the S412D LMR Master. The radio is also connected to a laptop running the comms manager software. That uh, software package in the comms manager will actually report the RSSI measurements of the, uh, the radio based on the signal output power from the LMR master. So to make receiver sensitivity tests for PTC access, you need a couple of setup, key setup parameters. Um, obviously, set up your center frequency, go into your frequency menu, set up the frequency you want to send the signal to, to the radio. It should be in the 220 megahertz range. The other things that you want to go into is your amplitude menu, set up your output power to start off with for your test. This is also where you're going to go in here and going to vary the power as you go down to check on the sensitivity of the, uh, of the radio. On the setup menu, you have your trigger setup. On your trigger setup, you want to also set your trigger level at a, a comfortable level below what your uh, sensitivity is. You may have to set, change this as you make your measurements. And also again, keep all the, your trigger source to uh, RF. And then we're going to go into the measurement menu, test, check out the PTC receiver tester. On here you can check your transmit patterns. So this is what the signal generator is going to send out. And uh, we have multiple patterns here. We have a wayside beacon, a mobile. I'm going to use a custom mobile setup. We also have a CW, a one hertz uh, AM and one, hertz, one kilohertz uh, FM. So you, I'm going to set up here for the TSR custom mobile radio. I'm going to use a trigger type of GPS, rising trigger edge, frame slot uh, is one. And now basically I can start my test here. I'm going to hit start test. It's going to take a few seconds down below. You can see that the signal generator is already on because it says sig gen off. So this, you would press this to turn it off. You can see that my eye diagram has tightened up. Uh, based on the fact that I am receiving the radio uh, response based on what I am sending to the radio. And on the software side, you'll see the RSSI measurements that are coming in uh, based on the signal strength. So then I would just go to my amplitude menu, turn on my TX output level, and then start bringing that down. Or I can just say, let's say, uh, let's say minus 20 dBm. And set that. And then I should get a proper response from the radio on the comms manager software. You can see I have all my measurements here. I have my hex messages that are coming back. My radio is in a, uh, it it's a sway site that's responding back as based on the custom messages that I sent out. And then I have all my frequency error, EVM, bit error rate, packet error rate messages. So this is basically how you make a receiver sensitivity test on PTC access radios. Thank you very much.